today I'm in the noisy data center and it's because I have a, I have a special assignment here. I have a very big server. It's an IBM X3850 X5. I'm a bit, the first X is maybe not really necessary, but this is a, oh, there is an X, so it must be good. System X 3850X5 and this is a 4 CPU unit there's 4 CPUs in there and each CPU has 10 cores and hyper threading so this unit has 80, thread, 80 threads this server has 256 gigabytes of memory which is not enough we want to move this server to another location and upgrade it to 512 gigabytes of RAM. The server actually is able to handle 2 terabytes of RAM, but it's too expensive. Um, we have more of these servers. We actually have a lot of these. I think I counted that we have 68 servers of this model. But I'm going to open it up and check the memory. Uh, what the memory configuration is so that I know what kind of memory to go out and buy. This is a pretty heavy server. It's, it's like a three-man server and you can see that it, it actually sacks when it gets all the way out. It's rather heavy and you open it up the usual way. There's a nice handle and as always there's Nice drawings on the cover of the server to explain all kinds of things that you can do with this server. But let's take off the cover and see what's inside. Seems like this server has been bought with all the memory modules in place. These things for memory. I'm gonna unplug the power so that I don't do anything stupid. But okay. So this is the configuration of this server and it seems very straightforward to update, upgrade this server to uh, a lot more memory than it has right now. So right now it's configured with two 16 gigabytes of memory in each of these boards and there are eight boards. I've taken one out. And two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 16 gigabytes, 16 times 16, 32, 32 gigabytes of memory times eight must be 256 gigabytes of memory. Um, so now I know that I have to buy 16 times. 16 um, to double this amount but what we are actually going to do is gonna we're going to take out these these memory slots and put in one of the others one of the other servers so we upgrade one server and leave one completely empty and we're going to buy new memory for that one so this is pretty straightforward. Just to show you the processes, I loosened this thing here. And down here is the full processor. And these processors are very expensive. It's like $10,000 for one of those processors. Maybe only eight, but I had to make it sound good. Uh, and the server, it's a 
250,000 kroners server, so it's a very expensive piece of hardware. And these processors, we have only bought this server with 2, gigabit, two gigahertz processors, so it's 80, 80 uh, threads with 2 gigahertz, 2 gigahertz. Otherwise, there are some network adapters and fiber, fiber adapters. So this this server has not been upgraded for 10 gigabit yet, but it's going to be. Yeah. So I put the cover back on, and I actually found out what I needed to find out with this server, and. These servers are going to be moved to another city, but I'm not going to do that by myself. I don't want to. I don't want to overdo it, so I'll wait till I at least have some kind of help. Power cable in the way down here. We're gonna hook it back to power. Here it is. Power it back on. Check all the cables that nothing came loose when it was out. This is our old configuration. We have uh, like two network cards with, with four connections in each. So we have the eight one gigabit uh, connections plus the two that's on board and a management. So that's one, 10 gigabits of data transfer and 1 gigabit management. So now it's running happily again. That was a short video about the X3850 X5. And um, I'll see if I can get a, another video done when I put in more memory in it. Thank you for watching, do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. Have a nice day, bye bye.